running shit down there. When we went back to Palo Alto for the club meet, I started champagne. I said, hey man, we got a punk ass brunch today. He got to go. I said, what's that? I said, slide, President chose a few. He talked to him like he was a bitch. I said, you can't have no president a bitch, President. Well, who gonna run? I said, well, shit, I run. I was the youngest member in the club. So they nominated me at the election, they, and they voted me in the president in March 1974. We were down to six members. So our brothers were weak in the motherfucker. When I got to be president, a lot of the old men was found out I was president, they started coming back. And we built our ranks. And that's when Soul Brothers and Children of Few became brother clubs. And we were tight up until what, maybe four or five years ago? Mm -hmm. But hey, we were one club, but we were two clubs with one patch. Because whatever Chosen Few done, Soul Brothers done. What Soul Brothers done, Chosen Few done. We swapped members. Yeah, exactly. We swapped members. We'd go to Colorado River, Phoenix, and stuff, and we had good times. Some of my best times in my life have been with Chosen Few. Uh, when Nick was president of Chosen Few, he tried to get me to pass my club over. I told him, I said, Nick, no disrespect. I said, well, I would love to be a Chosen Few, but I'm sober. And I can't change. A lot of my members wanted to change. It was pass over. But I fought. I said, no, nah, so brothers got to stay alive. You know, but chosen few, we're going to be the same. We're going to be brothers. Mule was, he was with us so much, they used to call him a soul brother, so few. <laughs> you know, and that's where we were. We were family, man. When they come to Palo Alto, we take them home, we feed them or whatever. We come to LA, hey, it was the same thing. We didn't go to no motels and shit or whatever. We slept in the club out and we went to somebody's house. Yeah. You know? If, if a chosen few came to Palo Alto and he was out of money, we get money, fix his motorcycle, whatever it is. That's what we done. You know, and the way things are going now between your club, I, said, I don't like this, but I'm retired. And just like with this club, my club, we got some young, stupid members that don't know nothing about the past, the history, and they don't want to learn it because they don't care about it. But y'all better learn the history because, hey, we don't have nothing but us. You know, back in the day, the motorcycle set took care of the motorcycle set. The outside people, we were the scum of the earth. You know, we wore old greasy Levi's and shit or whatever, like we were tramps. What we were, we were motorcycle tramps. You couldn't ride the motorcycle no three feet back then, but they motherfuckers do it now. In tennis, tennis shoes and shorts and shit. Man, you get on motorcycle, you better have on some motherfucking jeans or some motherfucking boots. That old, that old short and tennis shoe shit. Don't get it. And just like you were saying, you go across country and things, back then, if you'd be out here now, they'd take a picture by the state line sign. We used to hide behind the motherfuckers to keep the getting shot. <laughs> because back in them days, the Pepperwoods in the South didn't play that. We had white boys in the club. They had a long hair. They went south, they got shot off their motorcycle by the white boys. Because motorcycle riders were the scum of the way. So we had to look out for one another. And the way it's going now, it got to come back to that. Because in society, it's against us now. Look how these police are doing. You know, it used to be a police that fuck with us. You know, but now they're doing things, they're killing us and everything, man. I mean, we got to, as a race of people, and when I say a race of people, is that mean motorcycle riders? Because we not considered the average race. You know, we we outcasts or whatever. We got to keep this thing together if this set's going to survive. Because this set is dying. And like this club, my club, and like I said, East Bay Dragon, we we the biggest that's been out here for the for the years, and people looked up to us. We we were the trendsetters. But now, these new clubs come up, they don't give shit about us. You know, don't they don't even want us around. But hey, we got to bring our clubs back together and stick together. All right, so, give me, give me one second, about this. Okay, so I was gonna call you up here. I oh. jumped the gun a little bit. Are you fine? Okay, so while you're on that subject, okay, you guys, okay, we've been around 60 years, you guys have been around what, a little less 52. than 52. 52. I got Stick back here, he gonna speak. Speak to the brothers. I got you, watch this. No, I got something different. Hold on, brother. 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 This man right here. I can't motherfucking tell you. You can count the motherfuckers here to know him being me. But as of the motherfucking day, the leader of my club and the leader of his club was buddies, and all of them motherfuckers said 
Talk to the body. 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 Talk to the Play me a baby when you come back to the All right, y'all. Let me finish something real quick. All right, and then he's going to continue. All right? Hold on. Anybody who wants to speak will have a chance to speak, but let's keep some order, okay? All right. Only thing I want to... This brother got a lot of years, way more years than me. That's why I'm not up here talking. All these brothers do, okay? We got a volatile time, okay? We the team leaders right here. We got our bike natural sitting here. I want you to just speak to the mindset of the brother that say, you know what, this club is fucked up, be, whether it be your club, he got some shit going on in his club, we got shit going on in our club, and they want to go to a different club, but they know they want to be in, in the club because it's in their blood, like it's in my blood. My dad was just here. He didn't want to instill me in this shit, okay? So speak to that mindset. How we get 60 years? How you got, how many years y'all got? We got 52. So how did you get 52 years? What did we go okay. through to do, to do All right. it? And not necessarily what we went through, but what's the mindset that you need to appeal to to say that, hey, this is where you need to be. Let's make this better. Let's project this concept of what we have now. Do you understand? Okay. All right, speak to them. All right. My thing is, back in the day, we had love for one another. You know, we had that brotherly love. I showed a few show brothers, we were family. And what, to me, what they kind of broke this setup was the dollar took over the brotherhood. Where it used to be fun, we didn't care nothing about no money because we didn't have no money. You know, but we got together and we pooled our money together and we ate, drunk, or whatever, and had a good time. Now, these clubs or whatever, they didn't turn into business. It's all about they pimping their members now. And this is what it is. It, my club, your club, all your club. It's, it's all about a dollar with you. You know, showing if you used to come to Palo Alto years ago, we would buy all the food. They come, they didn't have to buy no beer, no sodas, or nothing or whatever. We didn't care nothing about making no money. It was showing hospitality. You know, and the hospitality is on now. You know, they, everybody they're trying to fill their pockets up. You know, these leaders and things now they. They get paid a salary and shit or whatever. Come, what kind of shit is that? You know, it's just it's a whole different thing. But one of my outlooks at it is, the world is fucked up. How can we be exempt from that? We supposed to be better than that, and stronger than that. And if we start talking to one another and get to know each other, maybe we can bring some of it back. Like you got a lot of young children, a few a lot of young soul brothers. Y'all want to speak to each other. Mm -hmm. You go out on the run somewhere, you see something, start talking. Start talking to each other, mingling, and clicking or whatever, and you might, you might bring some of this love back. But if we keep going like we're going, it ain't going to be no set. Because the house divided cannot stand. And right now, we divided. And you got these other sets that's looking at you, and pretty soon, you're not going to be able to ride your motorcycle and no patch. Because somebody gonna be taking it off of you, they're gonna be taking you off the motorcycle, whatever. There's another thing out there that's looking at the weaknesses we got. You know, we know we're strong, but then if you really look at it as a whole, we weak. You know, and better bring that together. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up and get to know your brother and talk to him.